attention to of what name you were baptized in. You know, whether you were baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, or whether you went down in the name. Hello, somebody. Amen. Some attribute salvation to your attire, or your dress, or the way you dress, your hairstyle. I mean, or the wearing of jewelry and makeup. I mean, you know, see, like, like Jill got those big old ear bobs on, she's so shot to hell. <laughs> I mean, you know, she ain't saved. She can't be saved wearing stuff like that. Amen. And all you women over here that got makeup on, you know you ain't got no majestic hell spirits. No. Ain't no majestic hell spirit in your own way to hell. Yeah. How somebody? And for all of you that's wearing pants, you definitely know you're on your way to hell. Talk about you women. Hello. I mean, but you see, but there are people that attribute salvation to your dress, to, to, to make out good. I mean, what, what would some of these women do if they didn't have makeup? Come on, somebody. Hey, I heard one minister say a long time ago, even an old barn look good if you put a cold, fresh coat of paint on it. Come on. I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking about nobody. Come on. Amen. Hey, uh, but, but you know, if, 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 uh, you know if some think you know, that, 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 that uh, salvation is in your conduct. How good you treat people. You know, I mean, you know, I, how many times have you come up against somebody? You ask them, are they saved? And they say, well, I think I am. You know, I'm a pretty good person. I don't too much treat people bad. I mean, you know, I just, I do my best. You know, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't, because they think salvation is in your conduct. I don't drink, I don't smoke, uh, uh, smoke, I don't uh, uh, chew, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't do alcohol, I don't do drugs. Amen. You know, I don't swear. Amen. I try to treat my fellow men right. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, and, and, and they think that's salvation. Some think salvation, you know, is joining the church and getting involved in some of the programs in the church. Maybe singing on the praise team. Maybe being on the board. Hello, somebody. Right. Amen. Maybe being on the pastor's aid committee. Maybe being an usher. You know, you know, I'm saved because of how much money I give. You have no earthly idea how much I give into charities and how many charitable acts that I do. I mean, you know, and they associate that with salvation. Some even associate salvation with other persons speaking tongues or not. Amen. I mean, wait a minute now, preacher. You're trying to tell me that I can be in church, that I can be on the usher board, or that I can be on the praise team. Or you're trying to tell me that I can be in church and that I can be dressed just as sanctimonious, with no makeup on, with you know, with no no cheery on, you know, wearing my own dresses, and I can be in church, giving it to the building funds and, and all that, and still don't be saved? Yes. Exactly. Mm. Amen. You'd be surprised how many church, how many people go to church on a regular basis and they think that's what saved them. They think that just because they, they join their particular denomination, they got saved. That's right. You know, because most of you guys just knew, you know, that once you left the Catholic denomination, you were saved when you went and went to another church. Yeah. Huh. But listen. Doesn't make any difference whether you're Catholic, doesn't make any difference whether you're Presbyterian, doesn't make any difference whether you're uh, 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 United Pentecostal, doesn't make any difference whether you're charismatic, doesn't make any difference that joining a church or an organization does not save you. That's right. Amen. Uh, again, now let, let me repeat this one because maybe that one, you got stuck up on that one, but let me repeat this one. Even speaking in tongues does not save you. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. That's something you will do. After you're saved. But that doesn't save you. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 So, so what do you mean? I mean, now, 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 that's kind of mind boggling preach because I'm thinking, speaking in tongues, that's the Holy Ghost, isn't it? Yes, but that's new wine. Amen. And you can't put new wine into old sheepskins, otherwise the bottles will burst. That's right. Amen. So you have to be saved before you can get that new wine in you. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. So, you know, uh, uh, no. Just because a person spoke in tongues doesn't mean that they're saved because I know some demons that can speak in tongues. Matter of fact, I've heard them. Amen. Amen. Right. So, so again, you know, I mean, it, 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 a person that has truly been genuinely saved, doesn't they love God? Amen. I mean, I, I mean don't, they, don't they want to do for God? You know, I mean, it, 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 seriously, on, on the for real side, I mean, some of on the real side, but some of the behavior of, I'm going to give you some last benefit of the doubt, of church folk. Some of the behavior of church folk. You, you really wonder, are they really true? Can a person truly be saved and act like that? Right. Hello. See, again, people associate salvation with conduct. 
If you got the wrong, if you're saved, you're going to treat everybody right. I know sinners that do that. After all, if you're saved, you're not going to get off into drinking and alcohol and drugs. I know sinners that doesn't do that. Right. If you're saved, you know, you, you, you're going to give, give to God. I know sinners should do that. Yes. If you're saved, I mean, you know, you're not going to be cursing and swearing. I know sinners that don't do that. Amen. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Oh. So just exactly what is salvation? I mean, you know, <clears throat> what's the real deal when it comes Because, see, here's how I got to think along these lines. For a long time, on my job, when I used to work for now. And for a long time, I saw folk, you know, that live just, a matter of fact, you know, I, I knew they weren't safe. I mean, because they cursed, they swore, they drank, they did everything every other sinner do. I saw them do. And then, you know, and just in the process of talking to them, they knew I was a preacher. Just in the process of talking to them, they say, oh, yeah, you know, uh, we're going to have uh, so-and-so at our church Sunday. I said, what? So you're going to have who at whose church? No. Yeah, we're going to have uh, this, this guest speaker, so-and-so. He's going to be at our church. Your church? Yeah, I go to church every Sunday. <laughs> you do, you, you, you what? And don't y'all say out there like it looks so holy. There are some tongue talkers often here that you know speak another, uh, speak another language besides tongues when they get away from this church. Yep, right. come on. Right. Oh. Hello. Scripture says salt water and bitter water, or salt water and sweet water, should be able to flow from the same fountain. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't believe it. I mean, you know, I've heard, I've heard folks talking to them at church and then go home and, and boy, just curse their spouse out like what nothing. Amen. Matter of fact, the, the profanity flowed out of their mouth uh, 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 a lot more fluent than the tongues did. <laughs> I saw, so again, you know, just what is it? Because I started looking at them, and I, and, I, and I got a burden for those people. And I said, that, now, Lord, there was a whole bunch of people, and, and I got this, this was my mindset. There was a whole bunch of people that's going to, on judgment day, walk up to the throne of God, and God going to say, to the left. And they're going to start hollering, but God, I went to church every Sunday. God going to say, I never knew you. Mm. But I paid my tithes. God going to say, I never knew you. But I sat on the praise team for 15 years. God said, I don't know you. That's right, man. But, 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 but you know, I, it was me that helped give that large sum of money when we can build that, that new wing onto the church. God said, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. But what about, you know, going to the nursing home and all those church baths I, that I've done? Lord, God said, I don't know you. Now, you, you think I'm just talking? That's the scriptures. Yeah, I remember you can say, many is going to come in the last day and say, Lord, did we not do this? Did we not do that? Did we not do this? And he's going to say, I never knew you. Depart from me. That's right. So, I mean, question, are you sure you're saved? Amen. You know, as, as I'm sure you've probably heard before, I mean, you know, uh, uh, coming to church and sitting in church and hearing a preacher, doesn't a bit more, a bit more make you a preacher or a bit more make you a saint? <laughs> Doesn't a bit more make you saved as a car sitting in the garage, as you sitting in the garage makes you a car. That's right. Amen. Hello. Amen. It, 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 coming to church doesn't make you saved. Singing in, on the praise team doesn't make you saved. Giving your time and offering doesn't make you saved. So do you really know what salvation is? And are you really saved? Now, what I want you to think about because I, I, too many times I've seen this over and over again in some of the erratic behavior of so-called saints and Christians in church has become the God.